And this is Mark Swartz from MTC Media asking the question, is the PGA Tour being hypocritical? So it was reported that um, there are going to be some changes coming to the tour. Top players will commit to at least 20 uh, events and the schedule uh, will include uh, eight elevated events plus four additional ones. And it will carry purchase of 20 million expansion of the PIP, which is player impact program uh, will now award 100 million to up to 20 players, which is the difference from 50 million for 10 players. And then the guaranteed league minimum um, of $500,000 per player. So look, um, those are things I'm, I'm sure you've heard by the time of this broadcast of the changes, but what it did is it led to, uh, I believe it was Lee Westwood calling the tour a bunch of hypocrites. And that's a legitimate question because now for all the things that you were saying, you know, oh, players got to earn it, this and that, you know, uh, live golf is, is an exhibition, so on and so forth. What live golf has done is it has given the players on the PGA tour, the same players who some criticize um, the live golf players for going over there. It's given them uh, some leverage and out of this leverage, um, with Tiger Woods being a big voice in it, uh, the PGA Tour is looking to kind of change things. And again, it goes down to whether you believe these guys are independent contractors or not, but uh, the PGA Tour understood that it needed some live golf type of things to kind of stem the tide of guys leaving. Now, you know how I feel. I don't think that people leaving um, hurts the PGA Tour as much as um, has been made out to be. Yes, the PGA Tour can be name driven, but it's also a, a type of thing where it's who's the next name. The next name could be in college. I remember Jordan Spieth when he played in high school and stuff like that. So it's the it's the next name. It's not always the current name. It's the next name in the bridge. And I really thought that the PGA Tour was fine with that, but that's neither here nor there. The also the thing that came out of it is Tiger Woods and. Roy McIlroy having this virtual league in conjunction with the PGA Tour. So now you have guys having these partnerships with the PGA Tour, the PGA Tour having what maybe not be considered appearance money, but having some guaranteed money, which was what the, um, the guys from, that was going over the Live Golf was um, criticized for. Uh, but so the, the question is a legitimate one. Do you think it's hypocritical or not? Uh, you, uh, I've said it in broadcast before. What I thought was is the PGA Tour having some sort of legitimate competition was going to uh, make them rethink some of their policies and how they're doing things. And I don't think that's bad for the players. I've said it before. Live golf might not be the mechanism because of other things um, to have competition for the PGA Tour. But the PGA Tour, just like any other sports industry, needs to have competition. The idea that these sports industries um, are able to operate as monopolies, it's, it's, it's got to stop. So for the players, the, the guys who went to live golf and live um, golf entity did help them, whether you want to, you know, admit it or not, or whether you feel comfortable with that, it did help the players get leverage and it made the PGA Tour um, rethink the way they do things and, and frankly to modernize because they're not modern. It's that still that 1960s, 1970s thinking of, you know, um, you have to earn every little cent that you get. And we all know in real life, that's that's not what happens. When you work an eight hour shift, it's not that you're working eight hours because you're not, you're not, you know, we all want to, you know, you go to the bathroom, you, you surf the net, you talk to your coworker over in office 475, you're not working for eight hours, but you charge eight hours. And these guys, um, their brand is themselves, which means that their time should cost money. I have no problems with their time costing money, not just the performance, them being there, because that does add to these TV contracts that the PGA Tour um, is getting, frankly, rich off of. Now, the one thing that I'm interested in watching going forward is, does the PGA Tour stay um, uh, a, a, a nonprofit? Uh, I know Tiger Woods suggested that they should start looking at not being a nonprofit and be a for, for-profit entity, and that would allow them to um, provide more benefits for the players. But then how is that going to be funded? 
the same way Live Golf was funded. Um, you're going to have these big time investors and funds and stuff that's going to have to underwrite that stuff. So again, I can understand if the Live Golf guys are feeling a little uh, cheeky about being criticized in the way they did and their character being attacked and so on and so forth. I don't feel sorry for um, Greg Norman. That's the one guy I don't feel sorry for because he's 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 not warned of my sympathy. But those guys, they, they have a valid point and they do have a valid point to ask if the PGA Tour is being uh, hypocritical in some of the changes they made in lieu of what they said about live golf. But we will see how far these changes go for the PGA Tour. My only concern is, is that the guys on tour us uh, reap most of the benefits. This is Marks Washington from MTC Media.